Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to be able to speak to you. Um, maybe you could just kick off with a brief introduction to wedding season. What can people expect if they watch it? So it's a romantic comedy action thriller is how we've been describing it. Um, two people, Stefan and Katie, who fall in love over the course of a summer of weddings. Um, but it turns out she's getting married. And then it turns out that uh, all her in-laws die on her wedding day. And... Uh, they end up on the run. Yeah. And maybe I'll start with you, Oliver. I mean, when I watched it, it just felt like um, very true and so many things related to my life, I guess, being like a British millennial, that thing of the, you know, the treadmill of, of, of different weddings and wondering mm. where you are in life and if you're in the same place as everyone else. Um, but also, I just love the fact that, you know, it starts off, you think maybe you're going to be watching a regular rom-com, but quite quickly becomes something else and all these action and thriller elements. Can you tell us a little bit about how the idea came to you and, and how it evolved into the, the series we see today? Yeah, so I mean, yeah, I was I was very much going through that that period of of every every weekend being a being a stag or a hen or a or a or a wedding or or sometimes having to run from one to the other, and and um, yeah, and, uh, yeah and, and obviously it's a time you know I think I was I was very much single at the time and um, and you know and I think it's you, you know being at weddings every weekend you're kind of confronted with you know where am I going what what kind of what do I want from relationships all of that. Um, and, uh, but also it was, you know, once you started thinking about it, you're like, okay, well, that feels like a rom-com. Uh, and I love rom-coms, but often falling in love in rom-coms feels like, uh, it feels comforting and cozy and it's like a lovely warm thing, like a, like a hug. And for me, falling in love has always been a process of feeling sick and sweaty and, and anxious and terrified and all of those things. So it was when I first met the guys at Dancing Ledge um, who, who, who produced it, um, what we were talking about was like, how do you make a rom-com where falling in love feels like that, feels like being on the run or or, or um, being on a roller coaster or robbing a bank or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> Getting punched repeatedly. Getting punched repeatedly. <laughs> repeatedly. And yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And for you, Gavin, when you first read that script, I mean, did uh, did all that comedy and the drama and the adventure all, all leap off the page? And, and particularly, you know, this character of Stefan, because I guess, you know, maybe it's playing a little bit against the stereotype because he's the hopeless romantic in this case, rather than it being, you know, the, the woman. Yeah. Um, and he's the one that's kind of, you know, maybe not making decisions based on, you know, reality and having time to actually meet the right person. So how did, what did you feel when you read the script? And particularly, how did you see your character with Stefan? Yeah, I think that's what I really liked about the script is, um, is that kind of Ollie's ability to sort of subvert, subvert the expectations, particularly the characters or even the situation. So I think, you know, you, you, you have the sort of interruption at the I object moment. And of course, then it's immediately not romantic at all. And it's completely flipped on its head. And that just perpetually happens throughout the show, which is really nice. And from a kind of performance side of it, obviously, it's a dream to get to play a role like that, which is also, you know, has these, you know, really fun comedic moments. And then also these, like, I think what you said is very true that like, Obviously, you have these incredibly heightened moments of action and, and comedy and things, but actually at its core is a very sort of real feeling that I think we all go through in our late 20s, early 30s, as people around us are settling down and, and you know, be it sort of arguing over the kind of wedding you're going to have with your partner or just deciding actually it's okay to be single right now or trying desperately to kind of find the right person. That all feels very real about the show and and it manages to kind of, be the kind of through line at the heart of the show, mm -hmm. uh, which is really nice to kind of play as, a, as an actor. So it kind of, for a performer, has everything. You get to do your own stunts and your action sequences and and the, the comedic moments and slapstick moments, and then also these kind of really heartbreaking and heartfelt moments of, of kind of truth as well. It's, it's just a dream. Mm. And coming to the cast, I mean, I just love, you know, it's a real kind of ensemble feeling to it. And that the, the friendship group feels already like a fully fledged friendship group, not that it's just been thrown together on sets. So maybe Oliver, from your perspective, you know, how did you kind of, you know, feel about seeing all these people, you know, bringing your story to life and then right at the center, having Gavin and Rosa, I mean, the chemistry between you guys is, is just immense from, from the minute one. Yeah, I mean, we spent. I spent. I definitely spent most of the read through and and the first few weeks of filming just just turning to someone going past and going, I can't believe how lucky we are. Like, look at them, look at all of them <laughs> together. Aren't they brilliant? Um, so 
yeah no i mean it's 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 a, and it's you know it's it's a nice mix of of some people that um that you know we might be more familiar with i'd, I'd work with uh with callie who plays layla um on on cheetahs the last show i did and and she's amazing but uh and you know rosa obviously is, is fairly well known but Someone like uh, Iwana, who, who plays Suji, has only done uh, largely done theatre and and things before. So it's a, just a really exciting bunch of people. And I remember day two of rehearsals, just seeing you guys together and being like, you feel like you've known each other forever. Like it feels like a like a like me with my friends from from university or whatever. yeah, I, I, like Catherine Willis who cast it. Like it really was kind of amazing that you know in that kind of week of rehearsal that we had. It, uh, we just all clicked so well and we're all, you know, the group of friends, we're all such great mates now and, and you know, hanging out in Manchester while we're filming and doing escape rooms and going for roasts and, you know, just kind of getting to know each other. That was one of the best parts about working on on the show. Mm. And I think it and it's, it's so important for that to feel natural and feel realistic, that they do feel like a real kind of group of friends. Mm. And I think that, yeah, that really comes across, I think. I hope. Mm. And definitely kind of just nailing that kind of British humour, which maybe always got a bit of a, a dark edge to it. And then also, you know, sh shooting all these different locations, doing the stunts. And I was also reading that Rosa sometimes does kind of weird things, but it works. So, you know, <laughs> what was it? What were some of maybe the highlights or, or funniest moments on set? I mean, uh, yeah, I think that's great. Like that she was, she's so right for Katie as well, because that's Katie. She can be unpredictable and you're mm. kind of responding to that. Um, but I mean, we, you know, we did, we, we get to do, you get to do everything in the show. I mean, it's so hard to narrow it down, but, you know, on the lake, you know, we were out in, up in Scotland shooting a boat chase sequence and uh, just being out in the sun and the water, just like an incredible day. And then being in Vegas, and I won't say any more about it, but, you know, just being in <laughs> Vegas and filming in Vegas, uh, you know, I think uh, it's a pinch me moment for an actor. I think, you know, particularly over in, in, in the UK and Ireland growing up, you know, that's such an idea of America and you get to go there and, mm -hmm. and perform there. Um, so, yeah, and I think like all of those action sequences and stuff, they're, they're all so incredible. And I think some of the moments that you get to improvise as well in those moments, in, in those situations were, were really fun. And uh, we'd surprise each other and surprise ourselves. Mm. And, uh, you know, the director, George or Laura would throw in a new idea as well and keep us on our toes. And mm. uh, you'd add something, you know, last minute to the script or something. And, and it was just really nice to, to kind of have that as a performer. Ultimately, what do you hope people will take away from watching it? Because I guess on the one hand, it's just kind of an entertaining, you know, kind of roller coaster ride, and you know this, these three aspects in particular. But then it's hard, you know, it does, you know, bring to the fore these questions about, you know, what are the modern ideas of marriage, and do we all have to do the same thing? And that's across like cultures and you know um, different sexualities, and maybe some people want to stay single. So you know, there's all these other things that kind of are thrown up by it, perhaps. Yeah, I mean, definitely, you know, something we talked about sort of half jokingly was was wanting to make the least boring tv show ever made um and uh and you know i'll i'll let you guys be the judge of, of <laughs> whether we got there but but there's a lot going on um but yeah but but you know at its core i think i was i i was trying to work out some stuff in in my head about what i feel about uh relationships and marriage and things and and you know i think it's i think it's in at least in part a show about you know you can't help the people that Fall in, you fall in love with sometimes you fall in love with the the person who you think is completely wrong for you and and actually they're completely right or or maybe not <laughs> <laughs> yeah um well, i think i'm out of time but it's been a pleasure to speak to you both and i can't wait for everyone else to get stuck into wedding season thanks so much thank you thanks sir let me chat to you thanks bye